Hey guys, welcome back to Coral Space Program. Uh, today we're going to be sending a Keythane Miner to the moon of Minmus. I have actually called him Jeff. Uh, I was going to call him like a Greek god or something, but I thought the name Jeff was just a bit, little bit more cheerf cheerful than Poseidon or something, I don't know. Maybe I'll call Poseidon like the uh, the rocket that I send to like one of Jewel. Which one's which one's the planet on around, uh, not planet, the moon around Jewel that has the sea? Maybe I'll call that Rocket Poseidon, I don't know. Anyway, I just called it Jeff, because I like Jeff. Sorry I haven't been uploading a lot lately. I, uh, I, um, firstly, I was doing exams, end of term exams, a couple weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. So I had to do a lot of study time, and knowing me, I don't really get into the whole swing of, ex of studying and work in general. So, all of the time I was just bullshitting myself, saying, I am doing studying, which I really wasn't. I was just sitting on my ass doing absolutely nothing. I'm more of a gamer, um, that's one of the more things I can concentrate on, which is why this is going well, which this whole YouTube thing is going well. I feel it's going well, what do you think? Uh, I might be awful and just not realise it, and maybe I should just go die and stop myself from going any further before I get, get my hopes up, like, at 500 views, I don't know. Anyway, uh, what, what, was, what was I talking about? I forget what I was talking about. Did I tell you I was sick already? I think I got told you I was. Uh, if I if I didn't, then I got sick after I did my exams. Um, I've totally confused myself because I've tried doing this, tried recording this several times. God, what am I talking about? What was I talking about? Crap! I've been so out of practice because I've been away for so long. Uh, I'll just tell. I'll just go on to the assumption that I haven't told you I'm sick. I'm sick. Well, not anymore. I'm not. I was sick. <laughs> uh, I'm actually just still a little bit raspy in the throat. That's about it. But I um I thought it was I didn't think it was a good idea to record anything while I was all coughing and just not feeling just generally generally not feeling well at all. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you my whole process of building a rocket instead of just jumping around between uh, little bits and pieces of me talking. I thought I'd just show you the whole thing in four times acceleration. Uh, as you can see, next to the ladders or underneath the ladders. That is the actual miner itself, like the little drill bit that, that shoots into the ground and you you uh, you mine the keythane with. That's it's just the mining drill bit. Um, I have actually tried this. Uh, I had tried this several times. Um, I actually like done a few dry runs of getting to Minmus, and it. Uh, I realized a few little mistakes that I had made. So for this video, I had ironed out all the little errors, that kind of thing. Um, one being those lights on the side of the of those uh, strut panel thingies, those um, not panels, what are they? Just those strut thingies, those um, with the lights on them and the and the uh, the lander legs. Uh, those lights actually stop the Kerbal from being able to get down the ladder. So that was one thing I fixed from the quote unquote dry runs. They weren't really dry runs. They actually recorded them and did everything I would usually do, it's just I'm calling them dry runs because shush. <laughs> anyway, um, I uh, this is my usual building style, I'll get a middle section with several, I can show you in a minute, come on, hurry up, yeah, I'll put several around the outside, several like fuel tanks around the outside and then I'll connect them all to the middle section. I know it's not the most efficient, efficient why do I say efficient like that, it's not the most efficient way of um, of staging things, instead of just having them all directed to the middle one, I can have it like in a spiral, uh, where one of them, like, two drop off on the side, then another two, and then another two, and then you've got the middle one. Uh, I'll have to show you guys, I just didn't know how to do it in this, I just didn't take the time to do it properly and save on fuel efficiency, I, uh, um, it's not nearly the most efficient way of doing things. Anyway, I'm starting, I'll, in a minute, I'll start getting a bit of lag, and I'll have to stop recording for a little while, just like, uh, Kerbal cooldown, and after that I'll make a few more adjustments, but I won't show you that because they were too choppy and too random to really uh, show you all in a video, so you'll just have to go with it. You can see here I'm just starting to die and things starting to collapse and fall around me. Anyway, so uh, I'm on the launch pad. Uh, I am about to launch. I'm just actually just checking everything. Uh, uh, launch now. I forgot. I Maybe I should have... Um, had this slower because I, want, I, need, I need more time to talk although later I'm going to be grabbing some straws trying to find things to talk about because this is a long-ish video it's about 15 minutes anyway uh, I've made a few uh, 
modifications, I'll just go through them very quickly. I've got uh, computers on the um, like little computer node thingies, what are they called? Like little round computers on the top of the uh, middle section so that if I am in an orbit with it then I can deorbit it, man um, I can just switch to it and deorbit it. It's like a onboard computer which I can use to deorbit that section. I don't like having debris around my planets or around Kerbin. As you can see, uh, I've got a piece of um, debris flying along, along there. Actually that is in a like a 35 uh what's it 35,000 meter orbit which should make it crash but since I'm not um I'm not playing as it it doesn't um calculate that so it just just keeps on going around uh, without actually crashing to the earth which it should at that altitude anyway I've separated that stage and I'm going to expand the orbit out I really don't need a node to do this I could do it manually but I just li I just like having a bit more precision and I drop that middle section, which uh, I wanted to drop it there so that it crashes onto the other side, so that the periapsis is low enough. Periapsis is low enough so that it crashes onto the other side of the, of curb and it doesn't keep on going in orbit like the other piece. So I have come up to the come to the point where I want to try and circularize this a little bit more, just make it a little bit more perfect, so I can get with Minmus a little bit easier. So the uh, trajectory isn't all weird and random. I'm also going to in, uh, match my incline with with Minmus's if it'll go to it. Hurry up. I had a few issues with that. Yeah, I'll, um, I have a few issues with this. I want to match it up with Minmus, as you can see. Yeah, I'm gonna change it so that I can more easily um, get a an up with it. Okay, I make a huge mistake here. I think that that um, that that lander there is actually mine, that ship there, which is actually like the Heaven's Gate uh, satellite. I uh, I, th I thought it was actually the one I was controlling, but um, I was just, anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm stuttering and I'm just trying to talk about things. Uh, so I've finally changed my incline, which was more of a hassle than I wanted it to be, and I get lucky. I, uh, I find the Minmus orbit that I want pretty but straight away I just do a bit of uh, messing around trying to get a closer closer intercept interception what am I talking about uh, just a closer thingy I don't know I think you know what I'm talking about I just want to make it better so I'm coming up onto it actually I'm not I'm like five minutes away Jesus yeah I just want to I like having my uh, I like being set on the node properly so uh, before I get there so I'm not chasing it to the last minute, wondering where it is. So I fire up the engines now. This is longer than I thought. Why is this taking so bloody long? Probably because of those nuclear engines. And now I'm trying to entertain myself by looking at the ship. I don't know why. I like doing that for some reason. I like I look looking like looking down the barrel of not the barrel, but like I like the, I just like looking at the engines for some reason. And here we go. We're in a minimus orbit. That's how you do it people. Anyway, okay, accelerate to the apoapsis, hurry up. And I thought I'd just change it just a little bit again, just so I've got a little, like a, a better, um, I want to actually, this is why I changed it, I want to come around on the left hand side of Minmus, so I've got a uh, west-east orbit instead of an east-west orbit, so I can come in on the area that I like. I don't know what I'm talking about, never mind, I think you get what I'm Actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just wanted to come in from the other side of Minmus, so I slowed down a little bit. Okay. I'm, at, I'm, I'm quiet now. That's because it's late. Actually, it's so late it's early. <laughs> That's a quote from something. You get a cookie if you can tell me what that was a quote from. There we go. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, if I hadn't changed that, um, hadn't made that adjustment earlier, then I would, wouldn't be on this side of Minmus, I would be on the other side of Minmus, actually, yeah, that wouldn't make much of a difference, oh wait, it probably would, yes, it would have make it, made a difference, I'd be going in the opposite direction. I actually made the mistake of not putting a, uh, a keythane detector on the ship, uh, 
when I did a previous dry run, quote unquote dry run, uh, and I couldn't find where the mint, where the uh, keythane was. So I, I had a uh, had all the equipment, but I just didn't know. I didn't have a didn't have a map to actually find it. So that was a mistake. So I had to redo it. And you can see on the top of the those um of those engines, uh, of those fuel tanks, I've got two medium sized uh, detection thingies, so I can have a map and I can actually actually know where I'm going. I have a shoot it there for a stupid reason. Yeah, so I didn't have that. Oh wow, that's really choppy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have that map earlier when I did another run, so I couldn't see where I was going to land. So I'm trying to line up with one of the with one of those uh, those blotches of, of Keythane. Um, I'm just trying to fire towards it. It's a, I'm not very good when it comes to like target landing. I'll just choose a general area and I'll try to go there, but I'm not very good at it. I'm not professional. I decided to just just gun it at the moment. Just kill every. I just kill all my orbital velocity and just go straight in. Otherwise, I'm gonna overshoot it just slightly. There we go. It's starting to get there. I'm going for that one just about bottom left of where my node is. You can see that greenish. Blotch, that's where I'm going. That's where I'm aiming for at least. I'm also starting to get a bit of lag. This, uh, I don't know why it decides to lag now. I think it's because it's loading up Minmus. And I'm a bit getting a bit too close to my liking, but if I had gone for a few more seconds, I probably would have crashed. Hooray. And I still need to go a bit more south to get into the place I want to land. I detach the bottom section now-ish. There we go. That was the, uh, the final uh, deceleration orbit thingy. I didn't actually know what I was going to use that for, but it turned out to be what I wanted. I don't know what I'm talking about. Shut up, me. I'm just trying to talk about things, like I said earlier. So I am accidentally put a bit too much thrust into that uh, deceleration burn and accidentally started going back out into higher atmosphere, although Minimus doesn't have atmosphere. If it does, it's like very, very, very small amount of atmosphere. I've actually been, I actually finally got to Duna the other day in 1.2, actually, uh, speaking of which, Keith, uh, the Keythane mod has been updated for 1.2, so the next time we have a, a Keythane episode, it'll be in 1.202 or whatever it is. I'll just call it 0 0.2. I'll just point two. Anyway, we're coming in now. Slowing down to about four, five meters a second, two meters. And I think I'll do another stupid mistake and accidentally uh, blast them completely up because when I was recording this, I was in bed, which is not a very good mental image, but oh well. <laughs> uh, I was, so I didn't know which button was which and I was pushing stupid buttons and making mistakes because I was just like on my back Ugh, again not good images <laughs> yeah so I was not pressing the buttons that I thought were the buttons that I was pressing I was I wanted to throttle down but instead I was throttling up or I was going left instead of right or something like that or I wasn't pressing the um, SAS to turn on anyway so we've landed finally I can start extending the communication thingies t telling Kerbin what was it Kerbin? Oh yeah, Kerbin, that I've finally landed and we can start mining. Unfortunately, the the miners don't actually have uh, sound effects. Also, I'm starting to get a lot of lag now as well, so I decide to fast forward to a later time, as you can see. Yeah, this is uh, like about an hour in-game later, actually a couple hours later in-game, and I decided to take this Kerbal out just to have a look and see the sights which is not very good sites, they're just big salt plains or whatever, salt mounds. As I said a couple of episodes ago, I think this is all salt, I don't think it's ice, it's too close to the sun to be ice. So, thank you guys for watching, I don't know what I'm going to do in the next episode. <laughs> uh, maybe leave a suggestion of what I should do, maybe I'll just show you guys stuff, I don't know, anyway, bye!